All right, well, without any further ado, let's jump on in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Origin Gameplay Reveal. This is it. This is the big day. We're finally going to see what's been cooking at Axie Origin. We've seen some cards, we've seen some parts, and today we're going to see some gameplay. Uh, I'm really excited about this. We're going to have two best of three series coming up for you. We're going to have Jeff K versus Phil L matching up with their best Axie lineups. And then the winner is going to be facing off against Raid Boss Jiho for pride, honor, and glory. Uh, it's it's going to be a good one. Cosplay is on the line. Apparently, of course, I'm Zayori. Going to be hosting things today. I'm going to be watching. I'm going to be breaking things down uh, and doing my best to bring you uh, some of some of the live action. Uh, it's going to be hard. I still don't know all of the cards in Origin. It's a lot to learn. It's a lot to digest. So uh, we're going to do our best to learn together and uh, get a taste of what's to come. The launch right around the corner. I want to introduce our first two competitors, though. We've got Jeff. We've got Phil. Jeff K., how you doing, man? We just met each other at GDC in San Francisco. It was great yeah. to put a physical face to the name. Glad to have you here. How you doing, bud? I'm doing awesome. It's early here in San Francisco, but uh, I'm so excited to show this game off, man. Phil, how are we? Welcome as well. Yeah, yeah, similar. Um super super hyped to finally be able to show the the full gameplay we've been kind of dripping things out but uh yeah this is it like this is this is the game it's it's fully functional and ready to go um uh just uh excited to, to show everyone yeah. Yeah, likewise. And I, I think I've had a couple moments where I realized how truly bullish I am on Origin. The first one was when I was hanging out with Jiho and we were walking back from dinner, dinner and he was kind of trotting ahead of us. And he looked back and said to me, I got to get back. I got to play more Origin. <laughs> and then we both kind of stopped and looked at each other and both went bullish I kind of at the same time but like seeing that look in his eye like I got an idea for a new build and I got to try it out like that's the hunger that you want to see in a developer's eyes you know uh that really made me feel good and then also our internal like dog fooding sessions uh they've actually been really fun you, know, you get the whole company online at the same time trying all these different comps and it's it's amazing how competitive even just an internal like alpha testing session can get and again I, I think that's like kind of a, a bullish sign um before we dive into the gameplay anything that you want to like mention or tease like what what's been your favorite part of origin so far and all the testing that we've gotten to do yeah i think um my favorite part hands down are runes and charms and i think anyone who's you know seen me around the discord um or on twitter know that i'm so so excited for runes and charms and uh, hopefully today we'll show some off uh we'll see how they work um, and that's, that's easily my favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. So I think runes and charms might be coming later, right? We're going to play without them for our initial demo. And then those are going to be revealed in what, about two hours time. If I've got my, my timetable set up correctly. Um, maybe I'm confused. Jeff's making that face. Like, wait, what? We're not playing with runes and charms. Uh Oh, I got to uncook. Some got, we're going to use, we're going to use runes and charms, but we're going to try and only use the ones that have been previously revealed. Right. Oh, okay. I got that's you. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you, Jiho. I, I like that Jiho is just this voice in the clouds that can pop in and correct us anytime we, we get off track. <laughs> uh, this is good. I, I need this in my daily life. Um, okay, cool. So runes and charms. We'll get a teaser of runes and charms today. Sorry, I misspoke. Uh, Phil, how about you? What, what's been your, your standout favorite part of Origin so far? Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess it's a function of runes and charms, but just, yeah, the number of different types of builds and, and combos and kind of different ways to uh to have different strategies um is, is just crazy um and so you know i used to play pokemon cards when i was younger actually i played in like tournaments and things like that and it's definitely you know much closer where you're like you know always trying to to put together interesting new cards and decks and um and there's just so much variety uh so i love it 
Yeah, I love the amount of customization. I, I think before, if you only had three axes, you were really stuck with a, a pretty limited set of cards, and you couldn't really do much besides buy more axes to switch up your combo. But now, with one set of axes, you actually have some customization, and that, that's sort of how I see like upgrading axes. You know, it's not about uh, when we say upgrade, like making them objectively more powerful, but giving you more choices, right? Like different tech paths almost. Um, and I think that that can be a really powerful thing. But um, I think I'm about ready to hop into some gameplay. Unless there's like, Phil, I know how much you like to hype things up. I know that you're a tease at heart. So unless there's anything else you want to get off your chest, like I think I think we can try to hop in and test our, our live spectating feature here. Now, I know I am friends with Mr. Shade. So I think if you guys challenge each other, I should be able to click this TV button and uh, watch you guys play live. And if for some reason that fails, then I'm going to have to ask you to share screens on Discord. But uh, in our Ooh, little okay. test yesterday, spectating was working just fine. So I think I'm ready when you guys are. Should I even just switch over and show my, my in-game client, show off what my axes look like? Is it time yeah. for this review? Let's do that. All right, let's, yeah, uh, let's take it. our first step here. There you go. I've got a couple of my cutest axes, a pink one, a white one, and a black one just to show Ooh, off some of these uh, these beautiful the cosmetics yak. here. Big fan of this big yak. Uh, that's okay. that's Rosie, Rosie the backliner. Uh, she's adorable, <laughs> one of my faves. This is the um, premiere of the big yak. We haven't seen them before until now. I see, well. Big leak, I, big I leak guess, right I, yeah, maybe that, leak. that wasn't planned, but you're welcome everyone. <laughs> no, that's okay. Look how cute it is. I was show it off if you weren't. Yeah. <laughs> I beat you to it. Uh, and I got one with Scar as well. So really adorable here. A couple other uh, things that maybe some folks will pick up on, but maybe we'll just let them ride for now. So um, yeah, I think you guys can go ahead and challenge each other. And uh, I should be able to just spectate as soon as uh, it the game loads in. Bill, what what team are you playing? I don't want to play the same one. Uh, I have, I don't know, I don't even know which one I want to do yet. Uh, I was gonna go classic triple aqua. Uh, I will go with uh, my one of my fun ones. I'll do actually. I'll I'll do a poison team. Oh, okay, that Let beats me. me. To <laughs> I think that beats me. Uh, <laughs> Okay, are well, you guys right. telling each other where you're gonna? <laughs> yeah, what is happening right Dude, now? No, I'm so I, confused. <laughs> I want this to be as entertaining as possible for the stream. Right, yeah, isn't go. isn't crushing Phil pretty entertaining? I don't know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm ready uh, when you guys are. Did, did you send it? Yeah, I All challenged right, I see it. it. Okay, we're in. Sorry. All right, the TV didn't light up yet. Hey, the TV lit up. Here we go. Okay. Oh, we're in. Okay. Let's hang in there. Okay. So here we All go. Right, A lot to digest here, folks. But we've got Green Ranger, who is Phil on the left. And we've got Shade, who is Jeff K on the right. I'm going to move my camera so it's a little bit out of the way here. There we go. I know you guys need to see my pretty face while we're uh, getting some axi time in. So Shade will be going second, and that's why he starts with this cute energy coin here. And uh, that'll be a zero cost. That'll give him plus one energy to, to make up for the disadvantage of going second. So it'll be on Phil here to go first. And these two gentlemen are being very patient so that we have just a little bit of time to digest what's happening here. Oh my god, my turn time is running out. And yeah, go. <laughs> go for it. I'm loaded oh, in. Man. You can go ahead and start playing. Sorry, I probably should have gone ahead and tell you that. Rosa. Uh, Rosa is good, man. One. Man, I'm still reading these like card descriptions. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many effects. All right, so we've um, got Jeff K, who's well studied and has a very synergistic triple aqua lineup that we'll dive into, and then we've got Phil, who's still reading his abilities here uh, as we get into the game. So we'll go ahead and read them together. Uh, he does have two axes with Rosa. <laughs> Uh, innate, a lot of things to digest on this screen, but innate means you start with it automatically, so you have some strategy there. Uh, and obviously, you get to apply poison and sleep to random enemies. Um, then Banish takes the card. It doesn't go in your discard pile. It just goes away. So cards that have Banish, once they're Banished, uh, they're done. They're, they're like out of the game, so to speak. They go into a dead pile, hey. I guess you could say. Can I talk out loud here? Yeah, okay. please. All right, yeah, so since I go second, I get that energy coin. So I'll get four energy, but I don't have to use the energy coin right away. Um, I could save it for future turns because it has retain. Um, so this classic aqua build, um, 
is one of the oldest origin builds. <laughs> uh, a lot of people during the playtests played this. Um, yeah, it's. Uh, I, I was gonna use this one too, but I decided not to because tried to mix it up, let people see some different things. But yeah, this is a very Let's solid, see. solid build. I'm gonna telescope for the koi here. See how this works. I do 165 damage in that because I have three aquas. Uh, I'll do a lamb here. And now we're going to see the beauty of Shoalstar, the energy coin. Use my energy coin, and it'll Shoalstar here. There it is. So a bit of like a culling blade type ability. If you're f familiar with Dota 2, any Dota 2 fans out there, if they're below 120 HP, then it auto kills. So uh, very powerful. You've probably seen that one on Twitter. I think Chuck Fresco was tweeting about it uh, being broken already and uh, hasn't even played the game yet. So, right, man, this is a this is a no mercy game. I just I'm just gonna get rocked here. Um, so you can see here, I have this card, the Fallen's Longsword. Oh uh, yeah, that actually is because uh, yeah, my my uh, dead Axie uh, or not dead painted whatever it is um now gives these cards in replacement of theirs yeah revenge um, cards this is this is a, a new mechanic we haven't one. talked so about at all yet it. okay so a new reveal yeah um and, and the idea here is that um you get too limited if all of like if you have a dead axie and then all those cards are just gone um and you can't draw cards that do zero because that's way too much of a detriment so you get these kind of half cards that are called revenge cards so as you get down to that final axie you do get some extra kind of rng with the card draw uh, based on whether or not you're drawing cards for your alive axie or if you're getting these revenge cards but the revenge cards are banished cards so um they only get played once and then they go away uh, you can see silence whisper uh, much better now it's just a targeted heal plus 65 no longer has to be an axie in front so i think uh, silence whisper both has a great looking cosmetic and a very useful active so you can see some of the synergy in uh, what shade is doing here he's got the telescope on two axes it's a banished card but it lets you draw aquatics you've got the nemo which is a zero cost gain one energy if your axie is at full hp so a little finicky and if you're not at full HP, then it just heals you for 25. Yeah, you can see uh, some of the, the Aquas here have higher HP as well. Um, there are some some runes that will uh, uh, really bump those up. Yes. Yeah, Aquas can kind of be tanks now, it seems like. Um, there you go, a little Nemo heal. And of course, there's double Nemo now. You got the Nemo Finn. And you've got that Nemo tail. So two different types of Nemo. Green Ranger here. Yeah. So a here's, bit of here's a... <laughs> what do we got, Phil? Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, yeah, there's... there's. I mean, the, the goal I was trying with this build was just poison. Uh, uh, poison nonstop, but... Definitely hurts that one of one of my guys are gone already. Um, but this is a, this is a super... Uh, you know, uh, important one for poison green thorns. Apply two poison six times. Um, uh, it, once you build those up, you can really get the poison going. I see. Uh, you didn't go for the strawberry though, huh? Uh, yeah, strawberries. Yeah, well, I wanted to show that too. It, uh, yeah, gives you. Uh, once you get those strawberries, um, you can yeah target uh, uh, differently it's healing based of course as you would expect with the strawberries mm -hmm. and the poison mechanic works slightly differently here in origin um now you have this you just saw one stack falls off per round so you right. do slowly cleanse but you'll see that poison does get added a little bit more easily uh, there's a little more aoe to play with yeah and it could stack up to 30 and each stack does three damage. So you a lot. get a lot of damage. Yeah, it is a lot. And it's happened many times before. It's not difficult to get to 30. 
So more energy from what Jeff K has here. Blue Moon on two of the axes. You get a card draw. So um, if people are wondering why my HP is so high, it's because of the runes and charms, right? Um, if you click on my aquas, you'll see that I have Heart of the Ocean, which is mm. a mystic rune, which gives all my axes 75 HP. And all three of them have Heart of the Ocean. So <laughs> you run three aquas. Each one gets a mystic rune that increases the HP of your entire team. So triple aqua, you can just beef up and get these super tanky boys. Dude, right. that's, it. that's really, really good. That's, that seems, uh, seems quite strong, Mr. Shade. Yeah, almost too good. We'll see about those. <laughs> All right, another Shoal Star. So Green Ranger uh, I'm in on some my last trouble legs. Here. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What else? What else do we want to? Yeah. You're... These are these are mostly show off builds. So let's see what else we can show. Um, yeah. Here's a another a couple of revenge uh, cards. Yeah, revenge cards. Um, so you can see like the fallen one. shield. It's both ethereal and it's a banish. So ethereal is when your turn ends. If the card is still in your hand, it gets banished. Banished cards are removed from your deck until the end of the battle. Uh, and then when you use it, it also gets banished. So it's kind of saying like, Hey, use it or lose it. Yeah. You, it's, it's not shown, I think in the, the live stream, but there's a bunch of other, uh, other UI that we have here that shows like how much energy we have, our discard piles, and all of that too. Um, and so that's just not not shown in the stream, though I believe. Ah, yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, so we are watching on the spectator mode right now. That's designed to be able to see like both sides. Uh, obviously, the interface does look a little bit different from the the total first person perspective. So one, one thing to note here also is energy does not carry over like it does in Classic. Um, so you want to make sure you use all your energy. So it's it's kind of funny when you mouse over the like uh, discard counts and like how much energy you have this round. It just says enemy for both of you. So <laughs> a, as a spectator, I guess you're both my enemies. <laughs> We're all enemies. <laughs> All right, nice Nemo. So I can't kill here, um, but I could do 50 damage with Shoalstar, and I might as well because I have two energy left. And There's no such thing as saving energy or cards anymore. So like you might as well play this Teal Shield, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You have nothing to gain by not playing it. Right. Uh, gotcha. All right, what do we have here? All right, Phil, big card nothing. draw here. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing that is going to save me at this point, but uh, yeah, we can throw some things on. This is some bleed. Another uh, somewhat unique so, card. Kotaro seems pretty good to me. Deal two hits to random enemies. Gain one energy if at least two enemies are hit. And of course, Phil gets unlucky. <laughs> so that's a bummer no good there doesn't get yeah. the extra energy i like it yeah. I, I think um I, I like it a lot you as you can see on my frontline actually i have kataro and carrot um meaning i can get you know some decent free damage if everything goes right i also like carrot Something else you uh, were able to draw here. Gain one no. energy if this attack causes HP loss. Uh, it only does 40 damage, but in my experience, it seems pretty frequent that you're able to get it to trigger the extra energy gain. Seems like a really strong card. And seeing one of the other uh, powerhouses yeah, here with the, the triple aqua, right? The Koi. It's a two energy, does big damage, then it deals bonus damage per aquatic ally. Not bad. Did I, did I disconnect? Can you uh, hear me? I, no, we still hear you. We can hear you, but you're not playing any cards. Did you disconnect? Did you just throw the first game? I'm, 
<laughs> I think we might have ran into a bug here. <laughs> I'm trying to play cards, but it won't play cards. Well, I mean, everything's working Live perfectly as, as intended. <laughs> this is exactly, you know, we just wanted to give Phil the one game advantage so he'd have a chance in okay. the series. Uh, I can't enter and let's see what happens when the timer goes out. All right, well, the 1v3. We got a couple seconds left on the turn. And... Yeah, you, you surrendered. <laughs> 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 All right, well, we saw the power of the, uh, the triple aqua there for sure. Um, pretty impressive. Pretty impressive stuff. That was, that was my strategy to win. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Yeah, well done, Phil. Way to outlast him. Very nice. <laughs> Just got to stick around. Um, so yeah, the only thing, I, I wish we got to see the strawberry. It, it costs two energy, but then it gives you these strawberries that are zero energy, and then you can use them to heal your axes. I think strawberry is mm -hmm. actually uh, pretty cute. I, I think there's going to be some cool synergies that you'll be able to do with some of these new healing cards. Uh, some of the new ears as well, I think, will have some cool cool healing synergies with some of the other parts. God, I'm so excited. I, I can't wait to see what people are going to do in terms of breaking this meta wide open, man. <laughs> yeah, they, and, and they look uh, yeah, look pretty cute for sure. Yes. Uh, I, just, I just challenged you, Shade. Oh, hold on. Uh, I gotta switch teams. Yeah, switch it up. Teams? Make sure you get yeah, I, uh, yeah your, your new yeah. Your new axes in there. Okay. So we'll, we'll call it a win for Shade. We'll, we'll give it to Jeff K. Uh, well fought with the triple Aqua. Um, I'm excited to see what you break out this time. Something equally <laughs> strong, I'm sure. Uh, I do okay. remember the first time I played against that triple Aqua though, and it was it was scary. Yeah. I got yeah. demolished. Yeah. So so this upcoming build is. Uh, purely also for for show um i wanted to try to get as many summons in as i could um so i tried oh, to cool. get, get an axie with as many summon parts um to get some of those uh those minions out and then uh, i got one with just a bunch of, of nutcrackers to show that and then uh last one is more rage focused so i wanted to see if we can get some rage going here not that I'm angry, but I sent you a big quest. rage fan. So <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm ready to hop in. Did you get it, Phil? I have not received it yet. Let's try again. It is going to take me a minute to get used to this new art style. I really like it, but my axes just look so different. Like I look at this big yak, like this is a oh, new I creature. It. It's a new beast, you know. That looks awesome. I love that big yak. Yeah, she's uh, she's a real cute one. The front one is uh, Mr. Yams. That was uh, one of my first first collectible axes, I guess. Way back when, bought him like a year ago, I think. Nice. Yeah. Maybe just uh, reset, uh, do the old you, reset the old Mavis hub there if you're uh, not getting the battle to pop up. You try to do uh, request me. All right, I have just sent you a request. Is Mr. Yams fuzzy? Is that what that is? Is that why he's all spiky he like that? I think that's a fuzzy? I think it is. Wow, you know, I might have never really noticed that he was fuzzy before. It's way more noticeable now. I love it. Okay, I got it. Oh. Nice. Okay, we're going in. All right. Hey, there it is. The TV popped up. I've never tested this build. I made it last night at 1 a.m. Um, a, a lot of birds. It worked in my mind. So let's see. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So <laughs> is that uh, double bird and a frontline aqua? So we've got Heart of the Ocean here. What are all these cards? We've got Lucas. Take one bird card from your draw pile. Pink cheek, discard two cards, then draw that many. Okay, that's similar to that uh, aqua one we just saw. If initial, apply sleep. Okay. Kestrel, so this, apply uh, disarm. Wow. Which should I summon here? A trunk, a mushroom, or a mavis? Ooh, I think people want to see the trunk. <laughs> That'll also right. really destroy my strategy here. Oh, really? All right, well, that, that seems like a good call. All yeah, right, go trunk for the trunk. In. The shiitake is pretty cute. Oh, it's in. OK. 
Okay, so what does the trunk do? He t taunt? So, yeah, so it has taunt, taunt automatically. Just absorb damage. Okay. Dude, show us the Mavis. I want to see the bird. Oh, yeah, right, let's do the Mavis, too. Uh, so the Mavis, before I, I summon it, what it does when your card, when your turn starts, Mavis reduces the energy of a random attack card. So it actually makes my, my cards more efficient um, each turn. And there it is. Oh, look how cute. Uh, yeah, if you uh, can see the animation of it coming up, if you... Oh, my turn's over. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that Mavis, that'll randomly reduce the an energy um, on a, an attack card, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, so the idea behind this build is it's inspired by um, an idea a strategy that uh, POS2, one of our support specialists from the Philippines, mm -hmm. um, had. So he his idea was um, double talk um, with a uh, with a rune on it or with a charm on it, so that um, I could start my hand, it, start the game with it. It has like an innate charm on it. Okay. Um, but uh, that truck kind of threw a wrench in my plan. The idea is to sleep one of his back lines um, and then use Kestrel on the front line. Okay, so sleep, the target cannot use abilities. If it's attacked, remove sleep. So right. that's it. You, mm, okay, that's, that's something all right. Four turns is kind of a lot. Yeah, it is. So is the summon strat actually good is another question, though. I, I appreciate getting to see it here for the sake of the demonstration, but I wonder <laughs> if it's actually uh, viable. I, I haven't put enough thought into the, the synergies with a lot of the different cards, um, but I think, uh, yeah, there's, there's definitely viability. Probably not a deck like this where I'm just focusing on trying to get as many summons out as possible, um, but, but potentially other ones. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to show, you know, we have Nutcracker here, um, so try to get a bunch of those out, um, but you'll see, like, if I, if I do more Nutcrackers later, their damage, uh, goes up each time. Um, I do like you know, Ronin. Like, I, uh, I like Ronin with Carrot, for example. You get that extra energy, and then you play Ronin, it does a little more damage. It's a pretty cool take, um, now that there's... You know, crits are a little bit different. I think this is a cool way to hold true to how Ronin feels and give it some synergy, but you know, clearly very different. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that one. All right here, you can see uh, some of the rage stacks. You get plus two damage per rage, and then when you hit ten, that's when you enter fury form, and you deal double damage to the end of that turn. Oh, what is that? Belieber. Wow. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay, you you're, you're about to go Fury. <laughs> yeah, you're getting furious. You All won't right. like him when he's angry. Oh uh, yeah, we're we're gonna rage soon. <laughs> okay, let's see. Phil's about to go Super Saiyan for the first time. We're gonna capture it here, live on stream. <laughs> Phil, were you more of a Goku or a Vegeta guy? I, I would go back and forth. I mean, it depends on how much rage I have, but uh, yeah, I think I think Vegeta was always the more interesting character to me. Mm. The bad boy thing, yeah. Yeah, uh, always always trying to keep up. Gotcha. <laughs> all right. Well, work, work harder. If you like. Work harder. Uh, uh, all right. So I am. He's I'm furious. All right. Let's see some fury. So, wow. I love that right. graphic, too. The, the glowing Axie. Ready to launch. So, uh, he's also got a big card here. Your team gains three rage if this Axie is below 50%. So, nothing there, but 130 on Shiba. That's a lot of oh, damage, yeah. for even for that two energy. Huge. So, that'll do double damage in Fury Mode. So I uh, think Not to mention, he got an extra energy when going into Fury Mode. So, is the play mm -hmm. here to use Hero first, see what you draw... And then yeah. maybe try to use Shiba on the midliner if you can get a kill. 
Yeah, I think that's that's the play here. So let's let's try it out. Oh, the crit doesn't do enough. I don't know what these secret debuffs do. Oh no. Uh, this is annoying. <laughs> this is annoying. We're about to do a 270 crit to this 17 HP frontliner. Oh man, what a heartbreaker. Ah, oh, such a waste. No. <laughs> Oh uh, man, yeah, you really disabled all my stuff. Yeah, so that is Kestrel. Kestrel is the new Graveland. All right, screw it. Let's just uh, yeah, overkill this uh, this frontliner. Go for it. Let's see some big numbers. Two sixty six. <laughs> yeah, how do you like that shade? That's extreme overkill. <laughs> Oh, disabled cards are the worst. Kestrel. And falling asleep is pretty bad too. So you got some pretty uh, effective effects there. So is this winnable for Shade? I think so. I think so. He's got cards up his sleeve. I don't know this double bird lineup very well. Actually, in all of our testing, I think I've seen birds the least. So I, I'm learning alongside everyone else here. Still hanging on to that coin as well, so ramping up for a potential big combo. I have a lot of bad card draws here. Yeah. All right. Dude, you got to summon, summon the shroom, bro. The shroom? All right. Yeah, shroom hit us coming. with the shroom. The so what the shroom does is it, uh, it, it just restores HP each turn um, and then also loses HP. Um, okay. so it'll decay so, over time. So it restores 24 to your weakest Axie. Okay, that's cute. Yeah. Cute little supportive shroom. Happy little shroom. I feel like Sirius is also pretty good. Select one card to discard from your hand. You get to, to select it. And you just play it at the end when your turn's almost done is your last energy. And then you're like, yeah, sure, discard whatever. Because who cares? We're about to discard him anyway. Yeah. And it does 90 totally. damage. Like, I'm a, I'm a serious fan. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. <laughs> was that reflection is that what just happened you just got feared yeah uh, yeah the the bird has a secret debuff thing i think it was that is that what this spiky yeah. blue shell thing is like this is yeah king fisher the next attack against this ally is reflected for 85 damage whoa whoa all right get out of here all right I think that's all for me. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see I had a had a quick heal there from the mushroom, I believe. Yeah. So I'm getting a lot of uh, revenge revenge cards, cards here. <laughs> okay. Not ideal. Definitely not ideal here. So. But don't worry, you got the kestrel, so you're good. Yeah, that'll help a little bit. He's got that mushroom there. It's gonna heal a little bit. <laughs> Love my mushroom. It's just dancing there. The summons are very cute. They definitely win like the cosmetics battle. Yeah, I feel like it's a bit of a flex if you if you win with your summons. <laughs> I really like the way the beast class feels though. I love the, uh, this rune a lot, Endless Anger. Gain three rage when your turn starts. Each rage grants one bonus damage. Dude. You just get so angry. Yeah. I want to. I want to mention that we're intentionally playing slowly, right? Uh, yeah. Usually in a regular game, uh, it's it's a little bit more fast paced. <laughs> yeah, and, and we'll speed up a little bit too as we go on. But you know, want to yeah. give people plenty of time to try to absorb, you know, this new gameplay, some of these cards. I'm trying to to do my best to explain as we go along. So we right. also voice from above butting in we will be looking at data to see what the optimal turn timer right now it's 90 just you know to make sure that we have enough time to test and so you guys can explain but we'll be looking at potentially adjusting it uh way down actually so uh yeah just keep keep that in mind so. very nice all right some more spread damage here Gain right. stealth. 
Oh, I wasted a, a rage. I wasn't counting my rage properly. Man, I have, I have so much energy left. I don't even have things to use it with. You went Super Saiyan and didn't even know it. What a flex. <laughs> Sometimes I just, you know, hulk out. <laughs> this is actually intense. This uh, Shade has pretty good axes, and I think he had like, this is winnable. Let's see. We don't, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. I've got two okay. Kingfishers here. I'll use both. Uh, oh, I don't have anything to use this energy on. Yeah. I See, this is... I try to burn the coin early because I I feel like I get stuck in this situation more often than not if I don't use it when I still have three axes alive. You, you just never yeah. end up in that perfect right. cycle oh, of... Okay. Going in big. All right. Uh, what do we have? We got our... And do these secret debuffs, like, for example, if, if Phil were to pass right now, do those debuffs persist into the next turn, like, if you don't attack into them? Uh, normally, yes. But Kingfisher and Sarastas, uh, they specify next attack. So it's not like a specific round amount. Gotcha. So they'll stay until they get hit. So they're sticky. Okay. Yeah. Say so you get the kill on the backliner. Things heating up. Yeah, that fear, I believe, was what did it for me. Okay, I survive another turn. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh, what a card draw. What a card draw. Now you're wishing you had that coin. Gravel ant. Ah, that forgot about that trunk there. Yay, trunk. <laughs> <laughs> it was in the back, so I didn't see him. Yeah, hiding there. That tree's <laughs> memeing too. Look at the smile just, on his face. He's just like it yep. just blended into the background. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see. That's the trunk strat. No! The, <laughs> no! <laughs> The trunk. Yeah, Damn. that was a hero trunk right now. Let's see if Phil gets dead carded, and he kind of does. Mm, yeah, I wonder. All right, I think I'm going to have to use this. Oh, okay. Is it zeal time? All right, let's see. Might be zeal time. So, like, Banish is a tricky yeah. thing to try to balance, right? If you use it too early, mm -hmm. you end up taking all these cards out of your deck, but... You also still want to try to use these zero energy when you get value out of them. Ooh, the Nutcracker. All right, I'm going to try to finish this one off. Oh, oh I got another fear. Uh, okay. Let's... This is going to come uh, down to the wire. What else should we use here? Sure, let's summon one of these guys. You can bring out the bird? Yeah. I love the card art on Mavis as well. It's such a funny like angle to look at. It's like from the bottom up of a bird flying. It's pretty adorable. <laughs> yeah. All right. Shade in trouble. Gets a decent card draw, though. Okay. Yeah, it did. This is good. Okay. This is yeah. The... So my my beast has a uh, rune that gives me a bunch more rage, which is why I've been raging so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's a rager. Ooh, coming in. Oh man, I'm gonna. All my cards are going to be disarmed or revenge cards now, I feel like. I, I like that Nemo tail where it heals you and gives you an energy. Ooh. But it's a banish. Useful. Oh, are you in oh, fury mode? Uh, no. I it's like I've exited fury mode. Oh, okay. Um, but I was, able to, fury I was mode. able to cleanse the disabled cards. Uh, so that was really helpful. 
I feel like this... Is this a, a rune you've got here? This leftover potion? Yeah, this thing's pretty uh, solid. Recover 4% yeah. of your max HP at the end of your turn. I feel like it's it's actually been doing some work. It's keeping you alive. Yeah, it's chipping away. Uh, definitely helps. All right, Ooh. All right, oh, well, no. See you later. Hey. Is that your, your secret power? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's the so Kingfisher. Annoying. Kingfisher's pretty good, dude. <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh, yeah, I feel like it's killed a bunch of my guys. Okay. I think Shade has a good chance here. Oh, okay. This is a solid draw. Get Are you serious? Off. You get Kestrel too? Oh, oh my no. gosh. I think you're actually going to win. This is ridiculous. Uh, I got some big debuffs here. Oh, All right, man. Phil. Really weak draw. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm all disabled, tough. so that's that's tough to deal with. <laughs> all right, well. Oh much. no, that Kestrel really helped me. So yeah, like I, I guess you play your revenge cards, right? That's optimal. Just get what damage yeah, you, you can. Yeah, you have to just yeah. You gotta use, just mean, use just that energy. Get some value, and oh my god. Is this a real card draw? Look at this. He gets the Kestrel, the Kingfisher, and the Double Talk. The comeback. Phil, I hate to say it, but I think you might have lost, buddy. I think so, too. <laughs> it's all good. Got to got to play some cool combos here, actually. You did get to some play some cool myself. combos. But, man, this Disable, especially in the 1v1, like, you had a decent draw, but you just can't do anything. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, I, yeah. If, <laughs> if I could do something, I could finish pass. it, but I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Wow, Shay, this is mean. This, how are you going to do this to your your coworker like this on the, the debut? <laughs> next, uh, all right. GG. Next internal meetings are going to be awkward. <laughs> yeah. GG yeah, though. Wow. Well, I learned something today. The bird strat is solid. That was double bird plus aqua. So there you go. Yeah. Also, also there are bird runes that are really good that it didn't use, right? Because we haven't revealed them yet. Ah. Okay. Wow. All right. So summary thoughts: uh, a two zero for Shade. Jeff K. Well played. Phil. Well fought. Um, any thoughts about uh, triple Aqua, Phil? You think maybe some some tweaks still in order here to tune things down a little bit? Triple Aqua seems pretty strong. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see what, what, uh, people say once they get to, to play with it a bit, but <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, as we've said, there will be lots of changes and tweaks, um, during the alpha. So, uh, everyone should be very, very yeah. aware of that. It's, it's, it's hard, it's hard to know, right? Because we're such a small sample size and we're all just a bunch of noobs. So we don't know if, you know, triple Aka was good or not. Yeah. Well, yeah. it certainly feels good. I, I love the synergy of the card draw and I, I like the banish mechanic because, you really do have to think about, you know, do I want to try to go all in now and like actually burn a bunch of my cards out of my deck to get an advantage? Like we saw Shade get stuck with that coin of like, I just want to use it. And then the very next turn, he gets kind of the perfect draw and wants to have that that extra energy. Um, yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's a little more complicated. It's cool. I, I feel like it, it's... It's a lot to get used to going from being able to save energy in that game theory of passing to always having to play out, but then having to play around your deck a little bit more. You know, you really have to think about the expected value of card draw when you're trying to use resources like that. It's uh, totally. it's interesting. All right. Yeah, there's a lot of things to think through every turn. Sometimes I yeah almost don't have enough time to, to figure out what I what the optimal strategy is. Yeah, it's good. Well. Um, I guess that means it's time to bring in Jiho and the voice from above. So we'll have a, a Jeff versus Jeff best of three uh, to wrap up our little demonstration here. Uh, Phil, thank you so much for coming on today. I appreciate you joining us and showing off of some uh, different mechanics here for Axie Origin. We'll certainly be excited to pick, pick your brain moving forward as more things get revealed, more runes and charms to come, and of course, uh, a lot more coming to Axie Origin in the future. So uh, it's always always a pleasure and uh, looking forward to more of your tweets. Definitely excited <laughs> for it. Thanks, uh, thanks for hosting. And yeah, I'll uh, have to get Jeff back another time. <laughs>
Absolutely. We'll do a rematch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. We'll have to do a, a follow-up. We should do an internal tournament one of these days. That would be a fun little uh, like mini content thing to do once uh, yeah. once we get well into season zero. So, um, all right, cool. Well, we're going to do a little live production here as we swap things out. There you go. We've got Jeff K cut in half. Uh, Jeff, if you want to pop on your camera, uh, we'll, be, we'll be good to go there, and uh, I'll get you both set up. In the meantime, we can take a look at the beautiful Origin client and my beautiful axes, Mr. Yams in the front. Uh, I think that's that's Mrs. Peppermint in the middle. And then that's uh, Rosie the backliner in the back there, the big yak. Look how cute that the mint with the strawberry, those cute little, I actually don't know what those eyes are, but they're super cute. Oh, we've got hey, a Jiho. you guys see me? We can. can't see it. Oh, wait, can you? I can. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm just going to update Jeffrey Cam. All right, look at that live production. Bada boom, bada bing. Welcome, Jiho. How are you, buddy? Welcome to the show. I'm doing well. I'm really excited to go Jeff versus Jeff here. I have crafted a deck or a team, and we're going to see what happens. I also want to say that we've been uh, talking a little bit internally just in the last 10 minutes and we all we, I want to iterate I want to let everybody know that the turn time that we're going to be launching with is actually 45 seconds and we will be looking at data to see if that even needs to get adjusted further so yeah like the 90 second turn time definitely really long but this is for testing purposes so. cool all right well, sounds good. Uh, looking forward to calibrating more things like that as uh, we get deeper into testing in season zero. Um, Jiho, your webcam's a little freezy, but that's okay. We can still see that beautiful face. Um, I think I'm ready to rock and roll. Unless you've got anything else you want to hit us with, I think we want to get into the gameplay, man. Another best of three. This is where it gets real competitive. I know you two are competitors at heart, and uh, I'm excited to see who comes out ahead here. Jeff K., Versus uh, yeah, Gino. man. Jeff Jiho is a fiend. I just want to. I just want to say, Jiho is a fiend. Ever since you know our internal play test started, he's been in my DMs constantly, just like, "Hey, you want to play? I've got this new build. You know, let's play. Let's play constantly." Yeah, um, so, he's no yeah. mercy, and he learns fast. We did some training together when we were practicing before the internal session, and uh, yeah, I you either learn quick or you get stomped. That's how it goes against Jiho. Similar okay. to chess as well. So this build that he's playing, he, he's already destroyed me with this oh, <laughs> before. This right, is the... Uh... I start going. <laughs> okay. Uh, basically, the idea behind this deck is this is a banish deck. So I have these timbers. And uh, timber, basically, every time that you get hit, you can so basically timber allows you to shield an axie and when you play timber anytime that any of your teammates gets hit you draw a card that is zero energy but has 12 shield the cool thing is that every time you use that card it gets banished so this this is really great for racking up a bunch of banished cards why do i want a bunch of banished cards well if you look at topaz you'll see that it, Topaz basically deals bonus damage every for each of your banished cards, right? So if I have 10 banished cards, my Topaz is actually going to do 100 bonus damage. So All my right. goal is to basically rack up a bunch of, uh, yeah, to rack up a bunch of banished cards and then unleash Topazes on Jeff. So let's, let's see what happens. I like it. All right. Yeah, let's go for it. I'm loaded in and uh, ready to rock and roll. We got Chiho on the left. And uh, he will be going first, so Shade will have the energy coin. What did you do? What did you even play? <clears throat> I think for some reason I uh, ran out of time. I think you yeah, <laughs> <I think laughs> might have waited too long. Okay, okay. All right, well, so for Shade, we've actually got a triple aqua, but this one's a little bit different. So we've got yeah. uh, a perch here. Yeah, you want to walk us through it? Yeah, yeah. So, so this one is inspired by... Uh... Uh, a community member. Uh, his name is Jatster. Um, he's from the the community Discord server Myth Method Myth to the Methos, or what was it? MTTM. Um, mm -hmm. And 
Method to the Mythos, yeah. Um, and this is a backdoor triple aqua build. So the idea is to uh, put innate on this shrimp card here so that uh, I can target the back line. Just like no that. Way. And then I can use perch to start targeting the back. Gee, you might need to turn your sounds down a little bit. We're getting a lot of feedback. Oh, is that is that is? I think so. We might yeah, need to, to send Jiho a, a pair of headphones as well for our official gameplay reveals. I'm traveling, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the koi tail, and then what's this on the front? Is that another Nemo? Yeah. Sure is. So get that extra energy. How do you feel about Nemo tail these days, Shade? Does it feel um, strong? So people will notice that uh, it got nerfed. Because it has Banish, <laughs> Since, yeah. Right. It used to also have a card draw, and it was fantastic when it had a card draw. Um, but now <laughs> it's it's still good, right? It's, it's, it's still useful. Okay. So I, I drew two Topazes, which was not ideal. <laughs> a little um, early. I, mean, I need to get a Timber so I can start banishing some cards. So another one of my backdoor strats here is Pocky. It'll attack a random enemy and apply taunt for two turns. So hopefully, okay, unfortunately I hit the front line. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty random though. Weird change yeah. to Pocky compared to how it used to work. Rip my uh, aqua double bug comp. So what does Bubble do? This is an oh, interesting... The so Bubble is sort of the Aqua's version of uh, Rage and Fury. Um, the Bubble will stack up up to three times. Um, it'll block damage for each one. And when, when you hit three stacks, you get Bubble Bomb, meaning the next attack that this Axie makes um, will do AoE damage to the entire team. Oh, it's AoE damage. I see. Deals 20 yeah. damage to all enemies. So this is the icon up front for bubble bomb, and these are just bubble stacks. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so I finally drew my timber, so I'm going to apply that to my front Axie. I guess he can... He has, like, a targeting duck, uh, but the thing is... Timber, as long as you attack any of my teammates, I'll still be drawing the cards that I can banish later. So. Dominant Predator deals 20% more damage against the bleeding enemies. So Jiho's lineup also has some, some bleed synergy here. We got Heart of the Ocean. It does feel like Aquas are going to have this place where just having one in your lineup to play Heart of the Ocean will almost be key for a lot of these. It's just so much value. 225 yeah, extra HP strong. across your team. It's like it's some, it's almost like saying like right it's like almost like three extra energy right if one energy is kind of equivalent to like seventy five damage or eighty or seventy yeah or yeah. two and shade is actually missing a a rune on his back back axie yeah I forgot to put one <laughs> so he could be that much tankier. And Pumpkin, target an ally next turn after the ally is attacked, draw one card. So it's a 70 shield and a little bit more of like a guaranteed card draw than it used to be. This is pretty close. Interesting. Okay, so he just shielded up rather than attacking into my thing. Curly. Deal extra damage to shield. Not bad. I love the way Catfish looks now, by the way. I like that's one of my favorite art upgrades. Yeah, me too. I love that. Restore 50 or HP equal to 50% of unblocked damage. So not so good against shields. Mm. Okay. So Part of Jiho's strategy also is that bumpy in the front line. Mm -hmm. Whenever he plays a card, that actually gains 10 shield. So that's 
with the synergy with the timbers also. He'll stack up a bunch of timbers, use those for zero energy, and just get a ton of shield. I see. So I got a pretty bad draw here, but that's okay. Uh, you know, I was just going to ask, so what happens? Can you stack up multiple bubble bombs? And it looks like the answer is yes. So you've got three bubble bombs on your frontliner now. And 290 shield. Wow. That's right. That that teal shell is, is pretty good for shield. All right, let's see what I'm going to do here. Not too many options because I can't really attack into it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal a little bit on that guy. And then I'm going to play Bumpy. So the, the, the problem here is the longer I take to defeat him, the stronger he gets. Right. Because right? his banish pile is just getting bigger and bigger. Yeah, that's what's scary. But you're also so, getting into big territory here with these bubble bombs. Yeah, I'm getting really unlucky with my pockies. Um, but let's... I think you just used the Koi to go for the kill, right? That's Ooh. the perfect amount of damage there. Wow. All right. Shade with the math. Um, I would love to put off a Koi here. So I'm going to... Use clear to discard some stuff. Hopefully, I'll get a Nemo or something. Okay, it did not. Okay, so no shield on your front axi. That's good. Is Jiho in trouble here? Good use of the herbivore. Or sorry, Hungry Bird. I'm gonna have to use this long sword to take out your front axi, and then I'm gonna shuffle some birds. Oh man, that. okay. This is one of the most annoying cards in Origin. Hot Butt is very good now. And basically when these cards get shuffled in, like the burns or like the days or something like that, when you draw a card, it just, doesn't work sometimes it's a disable it's just like disarm or something like that really powerful and especially when you get into those 1v1s you get stuck just not being able to do anything it's tough big hp advantage though and you've got these tanky aquas so i i, I think shade is still okay here Double Topaz, though. Jiho could still get some big damage in. All right, so I'm going to heal. A little bit there. So Jiho has banished six cards. So I've actually added a sticky tape to my Topaz, so I can actually retain it and save it oh, for wow. the future. And... So what am I gonna do here? So I'm just gonna use my, I'm gonna get you bleeding. And then I'm going to use timber. I wanna say that I'll be impressed if Jiho can win this, but I've actually seen him do some pretty crazy comebacks like this with, with this lineup. The hot butt plus the topaz. Okay, we got another bubble bomb here. Big shield on the front line. And, and Mavis also has bubble. And there is Blood Moon in this as well. So That's this, right. This will eventually, you know, if uh, Shade here continues to play defensively, we will eventually kick into Blood Moon. Does yeah. it start at round 20 or turn 20? It's like round 24 or something. Oh, it's that it's, late? It's okay. a really, yeah, it's, it's pretty far out. It, yeah, okay. Okay. So two topazes here. Okay, Ninety-seven. So these are to hit for a little bit. Yeah, that's solid. When you summon the Mavis, are you able to put it in the front and force it yeah. to absorb attacks? Like if you want yeah, to just yeah. okay, I definitely can do that. Yeah.
Ooh. 10 HP. Oh, oh man. 10 HP. Oh, I thought that would give me an energy. Forgot I was not full health. Oh. Okay, I don't know why I did that. I could have hit the back line. <laughs> Too generous. You're giving Chiho some room to breathe here. Oh, he gets All the right. herbivore draw. I'm gonna heal a little bit. I'm gonna put some peppers in your deck. Some burns. <laughs> um... I've got six of those now. My death. Okay. Close. It's a shame that I can't take that guy out. Oh my gosh, what a card draw. Oh, I think no. it, it might just be over now. There's that Pocky coming in the clutch. Why is Lamb zero energy? Uh, I think I have a... Something. Oh, it's because my 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 Mavis, right? Oh, um, it's Mavis. Mavis reduced the energy of a random attack card by one. Yeah. I see. Gotcha. Pretty good. All right. Let's see. Okay. That was not a good draw. Not ideal. So really 81. not ideal. Maybe these peppers are going to come in the clutch. All right, let's see. Hit him with the peppers. But you two burns. Oh. It's okay. actually not enough. I don't have any other attack cards. <laughs> this is a uh, shaping up to be a pretty ridiculous matchup here. Shade is oh, gone. The defensive man. route. Oh, oh, blood man! I knew it was turn Damn twenty. Man. Okay, sorry. It. I thought it was like twenty-four or something. All right, well, there you go, folks. That was the Blood Moon reveal for Origin. A zap to finish off Jiho. And, uh, Damn. well, he still drew some cards. There we go. Now we go to the defeat screen. Very nice. All right, well, that uh, that's it. Shade up 1-0 over Jiho. Jiho is uh, one loss away from a Bubba cosplay, folks. This is big. <laughs> Look let's out. Go. Yeah, let's see, let's see. What do I have? Yeah, get those comps switched up. That was a good battle, though. That was uh, that was a great display of how intense Origin can be. You know, you think it's going to be over and swing, and it actually stretches on for a while. A right. Cu couple of moments where I thought Jiho might be able to swing that one around. I think he had a couple bad early draws, which meant he couldn't really get those also, timbers. Also, I skipped my first turn by accident, but no <laughs> That's, that's right. Well. That yeah. is true. He did skip. <laughs> That's a good, okay, I'm good ready. point. Switching my team up a little bit. All right, I'm switching up too. All right. Uh, feel free to challenge. I'm ready when you guys are. Okay. I just want to spend all day looking at my new axes. Cool. So I'm, I switched it up a little bit. I'm, <laughs> I'm going with a triple bug team now. Um, this one is inspired by Ryan at Meditate. Um, he theory crafted this, uh, this backline leaf bug here at the back. But the idea here is like, you know, leaf bug, um, you draw, you gain shield, you use square teeth for some free damage because it's zero cost. Wow. Um, so in this specific frontliner, I have put, uh, innate on both leaf bugs and the square teeth. So I will always start the game with 60 shield and a free 85 damage here. Wow. No way. This is a cool lineup. It's also aesthetic as hell. It's so beautiful. Look at your back Bugs liner, are beautiful. dude. Look at Bugs this guy. Bugs are just beautiful, actually. Yeah. I oh, yeah. The leaf bug square teeth 
combo is insane. All right, uh, this is no mercy here. So what's Jiho got? You're wrapping some triple tinder. Okay. Wow, he's shuffling a void. Goda is really good. Voids are Goda. really bad. You don't want to. Goda go is this top tier. Yeah, let's see. So Goda gets banished, but you shuffle a void into your opponent's discard pile. Not fun. Also, as as people rush to the marketplace to buy these double leaf bug square teats, I'll save you some time, and they don't exist. <laughs> ah, I got really unlucky there. <laughs> let's see. Double leaf bug square teeth. Okay, so it's got the fear there in the front. Next turn, after the target is attacked, shuffle one goo into your opponent's discard pile. So does goo work the same way as a void? It's just junk that's in your hand that you don't want. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, goo. Uh, it's drunk in your hand, um, and to get rid of it, you have to spend an energy. Oh, that's the only way to get rid of it, is to actually use yep. it. I see. I didn't know that, actually. I think that's why I lost so hard last time I played against it, because I just kept passing when I picked him up. So, that's a good tip. Okay, here come the lumber shields. Yeah, Jiho's got a lot of cards here. So oh no, here, here comes, comes the hot butt. butt. Drop some burns. So this is the void. Unplayable, ethereal. When you draw one or more void, you lose one energy. Oh. Yeah, so he he shuffled a void, but I also am using a rune that shuffles voids. So I have like two voids in my deck. Um, yeah. That rune is one of the stronger runes, I think. But it's it's pretty balanced because you, you you take three curses into your deck. We see the Scarab draw, gain 40 shield, apply Doubt for four turns. Doubt, the target gains 20% less HP from healing. Okay. Bookworm. Seems like every class has one of these, like zero cost. Take one card from your class and put it in your draw pile. Sandal, apply fear for two turns. If target already has fear, do 50% more damage. It's pretty scary. Sandal's really strong. Damn, Jeff K has no mercy. These bugs are so good. Yeah, what's this rune? In odd rounds, draw one additional card when your turn starts. In even rounds, gain 30 shield when your turn starts. What? <laughs> That's so solid. Yeah, collect and protect. That seems really good. Got an herbivore here. Heal team, if initial, remove one curse card from your deck. Okay, a little cleanse. Have you guys played around with any of these AOE cards? I see Jiho has Chubby here. It's 50 damage and it attacks all enemies, but it does cost two. That's the Chubby, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. I do want to see somebody build like an all AOE damage deck. Wonder if there's any viability to that. There's the burn coming in. Damn. Okay. Bad nice. draw here. Um. <laughs> yeah. So my, my strategy here is, you know, I just wanted to get some aquas, <laughs> aqu more aquas on my team, and increase my survivability a bit. But also, yeah. Go what just happened there? Why did your guy not die? <laughs> that was a snake jar, man. Oh, 
<laughs> have activated my trap card. See, so that was a secret card. So that's why I didn't know it was there. I should have known. Negate the next HP loss against the target up to 90 HP. Like a little shallow grave type thing. I like that. Pretty crafty. All right, so I'm going to use my ink cheek to redraw two of my cards. Very nifty. Didn't really work very well, but not bad. I'm a big Nutcracker fan. Oof. All right. Stealth, okay. What does stealth Making do? Some... Can't be targeted. Making some headway on that first front axie, on that front bug. Yeah, this is pretty even. Despite these bugs being super tanky. Looks like a pretty good card draw here. And I have so much to learn. I ha I'm like looking at these bugs realizing that I don't know much about bugs at all in Origin. Another thing that I didn't pop up uh, against too much in our internal testing. Hmm. Okay. Wow. Tough card draw for Jiho. So I'm going to have to try to use my Pocky to get around the tank. No, why did we do that? Okay. Unlucky. Well, so I have, I have seven banished. So this is going to do 95. You have 105. So I, I can actually take him out. So I think that's okay. Oh, actually, I cannot. Oh, yeah, that guy doesn't do damage. Although, if you had played that card first, that would have banished, and then you would have had enough. Oh, true. Oh, that, that would have been exactly mistake. enough, too. Right there. Yeah, that shows really shows the importance of playing your cards in the right order. It's a game of inches. More leaf bugs here. Keep this frontliner alive. Gosh, 185 shield. 255 shield. Who is this guy? <laughs> bugs are the new tanks. I thought Aqua's were the new tanks. So what are plants doing? Well, I'm just going to skirt around that. Come on, Pocky. Don't fail me now. Oh, okay. There's an interesting thing, right? Is like if they play a lot of shield, you can play around it. It's it, there's less guesswork, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, those are the rare times where it actually does make sense to sometimes pass with some energy where like you're, just, you're not gonna cut through the shield anyway. Yeah, look at all these debuffs here. Out comes the fear. More lumber shields stacking up. Let's go. 11 in the Spanish pile. We're starting to see the potential here of this deck. Don't have enough room on the screen for all these lumber shields. But Jiho is going to be up to like almost 15 banished cards pretty soon. Okay. Take him out. Take him out. This topaz yeah, those, is going to wreck. All those revenge cards as well. Yeah, all those get banished. Oh my gosh. This 1v1 is going to be... Oh man. All right. I'm a little worried here. <laughs> yeah, I thought you had it easy. And now I'm looking yeah. at this like... I think Jiho's coming back. Don't call it a comeback. does not draw topaz. Okay, I got a terrible draw here. Notably. Oh, I can look at my draw pile. So I'm not sure if you 30. guys can see my draw pile, uh, so I'm not going to say what's in there. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like that I can. If I click okay. on the buttons, yeah. I don't get anything. This is all that I can do here. That's one of the things that I like is just being able to clearly see what's in my draw pile and my discard pile. Yeah, I like that. Oh, it's also, true. I want to call out that the history button in the top left, yeah. you can see all past actions there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Interesting. Okay. So I'm going to. Yeah, that. Man, still no Topaz draw. Tensions rising. Oh man. Okay, this is this not looking good. Topaz next. next turn. I think Shade's in trouble. I think we're going to a game three. Jiho is not a cosplay kind of guy. <laughs> it's it's been uh we we. We've been contemplating the cosplay for years now. It has not happened. <laughs> but I have informed Jiho's intern to start thinking about preparations. All right, Ooh, coming down to the wire here. Jiho still doesn't get the draw. Not a very good draw here. Oh. Man, what a tough break. He gets the void too. Interesting. Nice, okay, good. Kill my team. What? Okay. Although the goo isn't bad because you get another banish card. That's right, yeah. Damn, goo's actually like. I'm gonna banish the goo from my hand. From yeah, my hand. that's. It's got 18 now. Or 20. Okay. Oh. Alright. I'm actually excited to see how hard this Topaz is going to hit. Oh, man. Come on. It's so satisfying when you when you let it out. Okay. Okay, let's see. No. <laughs> Alright, it's finally coming. I have it. <laughs> no. Come on. Can I play with you a little bit first or what? You don't want to play with my Leaf Bug, man. I just need one good card draw. Oh. What is this room? Okay. Oh, 225. One shot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That's, That's dirty. Awesome. That was I'm dirty. I'm glad you got to see that. Yeah, me too. We saw the strat like come all the way through. Yeah. That's that's it right there. You get all That's of these awesome. banished cards and Topaz becomes unstoppable in the 1v1. Damn. All right, Jiho, Jiho showed up. He said, I think the people want a show. I'm going to give them a show. And here we are. Uh, we're going to take it to game three. We're going to have the final decider in this best of three for the, the Jeff bragging rights here. Jiho versus Shade. Jeff K versus Jeff Z. Switch up your axes, boys, and let's prepare for the final showdown. This has been a great stream reveal. I've uh, really been enjoying watching these games. So excited for this origin yeah, this launch. We're awesome. less than a week away. This is so exciting. How does it feel, Jeff? I mean, origin has been like close for a really long time. How does it feel to actually be this close to the uh, the finish line? It's yeah. I mean, it's it's emotional. It's crazy. It's been obviously the craziest week of our lives, and yeah, we can't wait to show this to you and and get it into your hands. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep pushing forward and. Yeah, I'm, I'm, you know, it, it, this is this has been something that we've been waiting almost, you know, basically years for. So, Jeff, are you gonna show a mystic here? Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to win, man. Like I gotta. All right, you trying to win? All right, I'm going triple aqua. Are you ready? Um, let's see, let's see. Gio's going big brain. He's like, all right, what's my final pocket strat? What have I not revealed to the world? What's he been working on in secret? Okay, I'm ready. Uh, challenge me again? I don't have any other teams to play, so going back to the triple aqua. Okay. Very nice. Another go, variation nice. of the Timber Topaz. I just this is what I this is like what I like to play, man. It's my this is my play style right, right now. <laughs> All right, slightly different though. We got this very adorable frontliner here. Some pumpkin in the back. We'll get to see the yam tail and bumpy. Okay. All right, All right. So I have applied bleed. So every time that that front axe plays a card, it's going to lose HP, 15 HP. And how long does bleed last for? 
four turns. So basically two of his attack turns. So yeah, just applied there. So I just did the carrot Kotaro combo. Just some got a good lot free of damage. Uh, let's see. All right, I really want to get a kill here. Is that possible? I could. No, that's not going to be possible. These are so tanky, man. Damn. I'm going to use clear here to draw two. Ooh, okay. Actually, I could. Get the telescope. I'm going to land here. Oh, no, I can't. Wait. Yeah, no, it's not going to work. Oh, maybe. Yeah. I'll do right. this to get Koi. Yep. Use the energy coin. This yes. Is, this is part of the aqua no nonsense way. right here. <laughs> Let's go. This is it right here. You can just keep fishing through your deck with clear. With telescope. Clear, telescope, yep. Oh my gosh, that was dirty. Right. And you've got the double uh, blue moon for the card draw. Carrot, Koi, Nemo. Oh, I love this aqua lineup. Okay. Pretty good turn from Jiho, but easy card draw for Shade here. Uh -oh. uh, telescope, no. Oh my gosh, you've got the there's... double Nemo fins too, so you get all this extra energy. Uh, the problem is my draw pile is only one, so there's nothing to telescope in there, nothing that I want. So, uh, yeah, if only had one more card. Yeah, if only you could uh, two turns, two kills in the final game of this best of three. That would have been impressive. And yeah. What's sad is you're like not that far away with Shoalstar. <laughs> I'll just take the 50 damage from Shoalstar. Okay. Jiho's sweating right now. I'm gonna find a way to get back in this. It's not looking good. These things are so tanky. Wow. Hey, look at and his midliners. 645 HP. Look, I really want to see some Jiho cosplay. <laughs> I can tell. You're playing <laughs> like it. Jiho's intern. You, you watching? Get it roughly. ready. See, this is the flip side though. We just saw 225 Topaz. That was a 45 damage Topaz. So what seemed so busted in the last game, you can see like you have to ramp up to get there. And now that Jiho's in this 1v3 scenario, things look very tough. Ooh, the teal shell as well. A little extra shield. Keep this shade frontliner healthy. What's this tail you've got here? Tiny Dino. Retain. This card gains 15 bonus damage per turn retained, max four turns. Oh, that's cool. So it ramps up the, the longer, longer you hold it. Yeah, the longer I hold the Tiny Dino, the more damage it does. Oh, that's neat. So that was a mess up there where you didn't get the energy from the carrot because it didn't actually do damage, right? I think so, yeah. So he still had the shield on. Jeff K getting sloppy here on the final stretch. All right, let's see. This is it. He's got the lumber shields. It's finally time. I can take him off. And that's why I have the lumber shields. Okay. This is going to be a tall order, but there's always a chance. That's up to six banished cards now. Okay. Um, I'm going to go Koi for some good damage. Ooh. That hurts. He's awkward, oh, okay. Man. Huge health and huge damage. I know, exactly. It's like, it's too oh. much synergy. 
Okay. Damn. I only had like, that extra uh, energy for Shulstar. A heart of the ocean needs some like diminishing returns if you're stacking it or something. You know, if you already have one, then the next one's like fifty percent as effective. Mm. I don't know. Like I'm looking at this five eighty HP Aqua. Like, what are, what are we supposed to do here? This guy's scary. Yeah, I really want to see. This guy's gonna be Aquas haunting here. my dreams. Like. <laughs> Yeah. Hanging in there. Jiho, the little train that could right now. I think it's a new background, right? It's looking good. Is it? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait, can you see my emojis? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. We haven't shown that yet. I don't think... Can... You see it in spectator mode? So they show up yeah, on the same side though. They It needs to be balanced for which, whoever's clicking them. So I can't see who's making which yeah. emoji. <laughs> but I can see them. I yeah, I want to be able to like buy new emojis in the future. How do I get one with my face? I want to be like the guy in Mortal Kombat that pops up, you know? <laughs> Uh-oh, Shoal Star. It's over. Cosplay confirmed. I will have yes. Jiho's intern prepare. Cosplay confirmed. Wow, what an exciting day. So much being revealed here on this uh, Axie Origin gameplay reveal stream. Um, boys, this was so exciting. I can't believe 90 minutes just went by like that. Um, yeah. re reflections, thoughts. I want to hear from you first, Jiho. Um, how does it feel to finally play Origin live on stream? Uh, how you feeling about your lineup? How you feeling about this cosplay? It felt amazing to to you know finally reveal Origin to the community. It was it was a lot of fun getting to play against the teammates. There's still a lot of work to be done, and yeah, let, let's start getting ready. It was crazy to see the stream hit thirty thousand people. Like the energy in the community right now is electric. So uh, it means a lot to us. We've been working so hard on this, and. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited for this week and I can't wait to see what comps the community comes up with, right? Clearly there's, you know, balancing stuff that is going to have to get worked through. There are like things around, you know, uh, the turn, the turn time. There's definitely a lot of stuff that's kind of, that needs to be refined, but we're going to all do that together and right? we're going to build it together. We're going to refine origin together. So that was, it's been, it's been awesome. And yeah, thanks. Thanks Jeff for the for the battles yeah man and regarding fun. the cosplay i'm pretty excited i'm pretty excited i was actually you know i was i was kind of planning to participate in the cosplay uh regardless uh so yeah i'm a little bit nervous but we'll, we'll see what uh geo's intern comes up with i'm sure we can figure out how to bubbify you bro uh we can definitely make that happen uh now this was really a lot of fun uh jeff k thank you so much um well done you're our our first uh, mini champion, I guess, for Origin. Officially, you've, you've conquered the first gauntlet. This was the first official bracket ever in Origin. You took down Phil. You took down Jiho. So now you got a target on your back, my friend. Uh, you better look out because people are coming for you. Uh, you're going to have to keep training. Keep keep up the reputation. Yeah, no, this was a lot of fun. Um, I I mean, I made the most broken builds, right? I wanted to show that <laughs> off. Uh so that part was super fun. Um, can't wait for the community to play this. Um, I think it's so much fun. Um, all these cool, awesome builds that you know we've shown off in stream today, that is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so many more um, potential you know, strategies and metas uh, that we haven't even uncovered yet, right? Um, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, well said. So uh, do we have anything else? Is that it, Jiho? Or do we send the people home and say, hey, there's there's more leaks coming. There's more streamers going live today. Uh, anything else we need to tease before we wrap it up? Well, yeah, Br Bryce is going to be revealing some yep. secret class runes in just about 30 minutes. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah, definitely keep your eye out for that. I was thinking, like, maybe we could somehow keep the stream going for, you know, a little bit and, and, and try to raid him. What do you guys think? Okay. 
Uh, any thoughts? What do you want to What do you want to do? We've got almost exactly thirty, and maybe he'll get started uh, a little early. I guess the reveal is supposed to be in thirty minutes. So, yeah, I mean, you're you're the boss here, boss. What uh What do you want to do? Is it time for I Mystic play Battles? Or, uh... <laughs> let's keep playing. Let's play. Let's play another <laughs> a game. Uh, All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Battle, <laughs> All right. Yeah. I... I need 30 seconds to go pee, but I'll be right back. Cool, that's fine. So uh, we'll we'll take a minute here, and uh, we'll just admire Rosie the backliner. I'm just going to take a moment. Shout out to the big yaks. I like that her braid is uh, green with the white as well. I, uh, I can't get over how cute she is. You can uh, scroll through a couple of axes here. Another yak for you. I wonder how it decides what color the tassels of uh, the yak will be. You know, like this one's white and is kind of yellowish off green. Cute triple healer here. Look at this guy. You got the poppy, silence whisper, lotus, rosebud, shiitake. Oh, this guy is a healing machine. Now that's a good looking Axie. What a cutie. I love the way Lamb looks now. Uh, it's it's really just such a great upgrade. Perch is pretty cool also. Here you go, look at this fuzzball. Look at this cutie. I'm a big fan of uh, Triple Nutcracker. I think it plays really nicely. Costs zero energy and fury form. Oh, wow. This is a nasty looking Axie. All right, our crew is back. So uh, yeah, I'm ready to hop in whenever you guys are. We were just scrolling through some of my uh, my favorite Axies. Cool, let's do it. Oh, look, look at this. All right, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna. I'm gonna... gonna drop the Mystic? <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. All right, All right. let's play. I'll do some fun stuff, too. Challenge me. I'll also say that I'm using my Mystic. I'm actually using my Axes, you know, so. That's right, yeah, so yeah. That's the, that's the other unfair part. I'm just building it with our internal test tool so, to get any Axie I want. Well, Jiho's using These real are artificial, axes. artificially created Axes. Oh, oh here we go. Fuzz. Look at that fuzzy. Okay. Zero, are you talking? I can't hear you. Nope. Um, you can hear me now? Okay. We're cool? Yeah, yeah. Good. All right. Yeah, we're in. So, wowzers. Okay, what do we have here? So, we've got some... <laughs> all right. Let's 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 first of all get our cameras up here. So, we got Jihal on the left, Shade on the right. Uh, Shade has... What, what's this, this guy with armor? Is this a spiky? So, okay. So, yesterday... Uh, so, when the trailer dropped, um, people were speculating that uh, that armor there was maybe the pattern. But it's actually what spiky axes look like now. And this is, Whoa. it's it's awesome. I oh, love nice. it. I love the new spiky. So yeah, make sure you get some cards in Jiho. And then we've got this fluffy little sheep looking thing. What's the, this is, this is curly? That's the curly, yeah. That's the, that's the new curly body. And then uh, of course, we've talked about the big yak before. So you've got quite the styling group. Now Jiho, I know we've got cards to look at, but You've got a spacesuit Axie here. What is going on with this bad boy? This is Axie number 944. It's a Crimson Gecko. This is a Mystic. Whoa. Whoa. And I'm not going to go into the lore right now, but... I yeah, see the Crimson Gecko. They all have a special cosmetic... You can call it a suit, you might call it armor. And this is what they're going to look like. In the future, according to Masamune, this will actually be a cosmetic, which can be taken on and off. Dude, are you telling me that Axie hats are actually here? Like, it's actually happening? My dream of putting a dress on my Axie could finally happen? It could come true? My dreams will no longer just be memes. <laughs> That's apparently the case. <laughs> well, bud, apparently, uh, yeah. Dude, I'm tingling right now. 
All right, so what do we have going on here? We have so many new cards to digest. We got this balloon in the back. We got little owls doing extra damage. So the little owls work very similar to the Nutcracker. Both sides with some serious and cute bunny as well. Just applies fear. Are you in trouble here, Jeff K? Uh, yeah, it's possible that I am. These birds do a lot of damage. And remember, Little Owl functions like Nutcracker. So every time that I play a Little Owl card, all of the Little Owl cards of that Axie are actually boosted by six. Yeah. That is a key thing to remember. It's specific to that Axie. I thought the triple, triple Nutcracker lineup would be crazy. Uh, yeah, it's only for that specific Axie. Oh, the spikies look so cool, man. I know. I I love it. I don't even know if I have a spiky axie, like just in general. I never really paid close attention to uh, the cosmetics before. Like I uh, I bought a couple big yaks just because they were big yaks, but I think outside of that, and I mean frosties, of course, but that that's a different uh, whole different ball game. I'm sure people are wondering right now, oh my gosh, Frosties. Japanese Axies? I wonder what they look like. You should be wondering. There's, a, there's something strange here. Why does... One of my Little Owl cards has 72, and the other has 66, but they're both from the same Axie. Yeah, that's a bug. That's gotta be a bug. Well, that's peculiar. Yeah, 78. I'll, re I'll report it to the engineers. Hopefully Live testing. Cool. Live Good testing catch. with Jeff and Jeff. This was the late night content series we didn't know that we needed. Jeff and Jeff. Ah, okay. I feel like there's totally room for some sort of... Uh, I shouldn't have done that. A meme show where Jiho catches bugs, literally and in the game client. Because didn't you used to collect <laughs> collect insects or bugs or something? Fossils. For those that don't know, I grew up collecting butterflies and beetles with my dad. That's yeah. where I learned what's rare and what's not rare. Okay. That's where I learned what was rare. That's a pretty cool hobby, though. I wasn't cool enough to collect beetles as a kid. The the person who created Pokemon actually grew up collecting insects, and that was like their vision with for Pokemon is like to allow anybody, even if they lived in a city, to have that like experience of collecting stuff, collecting animals, I guess. Wow. Wow. This is man. a lot of shield, man. This bug is so tanky, yeah. This is a brick wall. Can't really do much. I feel like balloon is just way better now, though. Just straight so up fear damage. For four, turns, yep. four turns worth of fear. Yeah, it's pretty good. The thing is, fear doesn't. If fear is not as effective as it is in the current system, right? So, right. Fear's different now. Yeah. Right. It just when you when you if you're feared and use a card, it shuffles a confused card into your draw pile. So. Is this the end? All right. GG. Damn. Shades. Taking L's all over the place. Dominant streak continues. Jeez. Can we get a puff cosplay mixed in as well? <laughs> Do you have your uh, axes connected, Shade? Can you make a mystic lineup? I don't have my axes on this uh, wallet, unfortunately. I yeah. Otherwise, I'd show off a of frosty. I'll play starter axes. How about that? Mm. That's not a bad idea. Starter axes versus starter axes. 
That's actually a good idea. I saw some people in chat asking about what the starter axes look like. So if we want to reveal some of those, I think that's uh, not a bad idea. I'll do the initial, I'll do, yeah, I'll do a few. Starter axes, no runes? Yeah, yeah, starter axes, no runes. Can we do any? Uh... There's some secret ones I don't think we should let's reveal. Just do, let's just do the classic. Uh... Okay. Let's just okay. do the classic. The first three. Man, Olek, Baba, Puffy. Okay. All right. I gotta. I gotta make it. Olek, Baba, and Puffy. Yeah, I, I've been careful. I don't. I don't want to reveal. Well, I guess I don't know what we're we're trying to reveal and what we're not in terms of different body parts and stuff. If oh, we want to show a frosty, puppy. I can find one. You have one. Yeah. Do we want to reveal would, Frosties? Do you I have? would love to show it, but it's not up to me. <laughs> uh. I don't know where my Bubba is. I'm looking at Tallulah right now, and she's smiling back at me. Okay, I'm ready. Let's that's, go. That's like, I want to pick my starter axes out for a spin. I'll let All me, right. I, how about this? I'll battle Jiho, and then people can see what the first person perspective looks like with starter axes. Uh, that's that a good sound? idea. That's a okay. good idea. Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'll, uh, I'll challenge here. Oh, your avatar is so cute. Yeah, I, w I clicked through them and realized that uh, it was more adorable than I thought. All right, so let me move some cameras around here real quick. There we go, we'll put uh, shade off to the side. All right, what do we got? I've actually played with these axes a, a decent amount. My Olek is so much better than your Olek, dude. <laughs> that was a lot of damage, man. Let's see. Yeah, Puffy's no joke. I really love the art on the starter axes. Like, when you see them, you know that they're not a regular axie, but they still look exactly like an axie. It's uh, very, very well done. I can't wait for the, the other ones to get revealed. Some of the other starter axes are so adorable. Uh oh, he's got the coin. All right, let's get a little rage gone on Bubba. So here I can see my draw pile. If he hits the crab too, I can see my banish pile. I can see my discard pile. So Foxy, if you retain it, it gives you more rage when you use it. Get a little rage. I can't really do anything else. So, but it is cool. Like Jiho said, you can see your draw pile and know exactly, like, you don't have to manually count cards anymore. You can just see what's coming up or what your chances to come up are. Banish pile and then everything that's in your discard before your deck resets. And then you can't see the cards, but you can see, like, Chiho has one in the banish, you know, what he has in his discard, all that kind of stuff. Pretty cool. Uh-oh. Not my Olek. Exactly enough. No! Oh, no. I'm in big trouble. 
Oh my gosh, and I got three revenge cards. Nice. No. scared here. Really needed to kill Olek that turn. Sometimes I think going second is better. I kind of like having the coin mm. and having the ability to do big burst. Especially if you have a lineup that has like carrot or any other plus energy. It's kind of amazing to be I mean, able to yeah, one tap somebody. That's a good point. It does depend on the lineup. Yeah, it's it's cool until you're playing, uh, you know, a triple aqua that one hits you, one turn kills you. True. Like, I think I'm going to hit this thing now where I'm going to want to use Foxy next turn and hit my raid. Ooh. That was actually so clutch. I got the zero energy 50 shield card by using that card draw. This is going to be a tough one. I think we've got a chance here. I think we've got a chance here. Okay, six rage. So, how many card? How many turns have I retained that in for? Yeah, it doesn't have a counter. <laughs> I have an idea. Oh, almost fury. Oh no! Oh no! Please don't kill my Bubba. Please don't kill right my now? Bubba. Bubba Brush? The Bubba Brothers. Oh no. Not like this. And you gain an energy when you enter Fury. Oh no. Oh no. Forest Hero? No, don't waste that. Mm. Oh man, this is a tough situation, right? Come on. Let me, just let me I live. What I have to do is this oh dude nice and then i can just like that. no yeah that, oh, that was optimal that was really nice i got jiho <laughs> dude oh man i'm in big trouble now Uh, I was ready to go into fury mode this next turn. I was going to crit you so hard. <laughs> All right, so 215. So what can I do here? I think I can use this. And then... 66 times 2, 132. So you're going to have 3 HP left, I believe. Good math there, bud. <laughs> That's my I, boss. I went to elementary school. <laughs> I am a calculator. Right, let's see. The, the sounds are really, really satisfying. Yeah, they really are. Ooh. Well, it's going to end a little closer than, than we thought, perhaps. 
I think even if you get all revenge cards, I'm still done for here. GG, there man. There you go. GG, buddy. Whew. Good game. Yeah, that was intense. That's actually pretty fun. Starter axes only. That's, uh, that's a good training. I think run. there might be like tournaments where people do that because it's going to be like the ultimate test of skill, right? Yeah. 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 And uh, I don't know. I guess if you add modifiers with runes and stuff, it could actually get kind of interesting with how you customize mm -hmm. it, right? Starter axes plus. But uh, it does look like Bryce is live. So uh, I think we're clear to host him anytime we want. Um, awesome. So that awesome. probably is a, a good place for us to wrap. Gents, this was an absolute pleasure. I, I don't have the, I, I can't put it into words how excited I am for Origin to come out. I've been with the Sky Mavis team for just about a year now, uh, and we've been talking about Origin certainly since I was hired, uh, and it has been close for so long. So I, um, this is really a, a, a big step for, for Axie Infinity, for Sky Mavis, and, and for everyone else. So, so excited to have so many of you joining us on this journey. Um, we are still at the very beginning, and there is still so much to build here in Axie Infinity. We're going to be there with you every single step of the way. Thank you so much for sticking with us, uh, and we're glad that you're excited about this Origin release. Jeff, any final words for us before we wrap? See. Thanks to the... 30,000 people who tuned in. This has been amazing. Really excited for the week to come. And yeah, I, I think it's clear that or we've, we have something really, really special here with Origin. It's going to be continuously upgraded and updated over time. That's what we're calling this an alpha, a soft launch. It's only going to be available through Mavis Hub. There's going to be no kind of tokenized economy initially. So Really, the way that you can help is, you know, give us your feedback. Tell us what you want to see. How can we make this game better together? That's what the next few weeks are going to really be about. And yeah, I'm sending love and strength to all of you. Thanks so much for the support this week, right? Obviously, it's been a hectic time. We're juggling the Ronin incident, which, you know, is very sad and we're working through and but. At the, at the same time, we, we need to keep building. We need to keep pushing forward. And yeah, it's, it's been it's been really amazing and emotional to see the community really r rally around us. And yeah, thank you from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, let, let's go let's go raid Bryce and, and see what he has for us. All right, let's do it. Thank you as well, Jeff K. Make sure you give uh, yeah. Jeffrey Cam a follow on Twitter. Uh, he's uh, on our product team, so all sorts of great insights there. And of course, follow Axie Infinity as well. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we're all over the place. TikTok as well. It's all just Axie Infinity. We look forward to seeing you over there. And now we're going to send it over to Bryson for another reveal. Cool. See you all. Uh-oh, his channel has disabled raids. So, uh, <laughs> everyone uh, head over there. Yeah. If you guys want to head over to Bryce and he's live right now. Uh, um, oh, maybe we can host it or something. I'll, I'll try host. Yeah. But I got back. That's what uh, is saying. Hosting Bryce. And all right, we'll try that. So sorry, Bryce. Best we got. Um, enjoy everybody. Take care. Today we're going to be talking about something really, really cool, and that is the secret class runes. So let's jump on over for everyone in the chat. As you probably saw, the triple aqua that was being played there is incredibly OP. And that's not a bad thing, but it's just a fact of the matter that it's a pretty nasty and disgusting.